Hi, this is Rachel Plain with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and I'm here to share with you a personal practice that I'm about to embark on for the fall equinox, um, which is the yogic tradition of doing 108 sun salutations to release anything that's not serving you and to usher in whatever it is that you want to create, manifest, or how you want to feel in the coming season. So um, Tuesday night when I do this practice, we'll be doing um, four rounds of 27 sun salutations to equal 108. Today, I'm going to offer you just one set of 27, and we'll move through modifications and different ways to do them. We're going to start with a seated centering and meditation. We'll warm up through those sun salutations. We'll kind of cool back down and then we will end in Shavasana and a rest at the end. In addition to this physical practice of the 108 sun salutations to usher in the new season, I've also been working on some journaling that I'll share with you in links below on that practice, which includes thinking about what it is that you want to create, how you want to feel, what you want to invite in, and then also whatever it is that you want to release that might be blocking you from creating that life that you want to live over the next few months. Um, and then after that piece is done, I also included um, a gratitude practice that I'll share with you below as well. So a whole thing of journaling, thinking, manifesting, creating, and then moving our bodies to usher in this new season. So I'm so glad to share this with you. I hope you enjoy it and um, let's get started. So you can come take a seat on your mat. Okay, finding a comfortable seat on your mat. We're going to begin with a brief meditation before we begin our practice today. So you can bring your palms down on your lap or up on your lap. Let your eyes close. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And full exhale. As you inhale, feel the breath, fill the belly, the ribs, the heart and chest. And exhale, release the breath from the chest to the ribs, to the low belly. Continue that deep in breath. And full out breath. As you continue that dirga three-part breath in and out through the nose, Begin to notice how your body feels right now. Turn your attention to the breath, to the rhythm of the heart, to your mind. I'm just tuning in to how you're showing up in this moment. How are you doing? And as you land here, begin to invite in whatever it is that you're wishing to create in the coming months. As we enter this fall equinox and the change of seasons from summer into autumn, how do you want to feel? What do you want to invite in? What do you want to manifest or create? How do you want to show up for yourself or for others? What is your intention for this coming season? And as you hold that in your heart, just noticing perhaps what it is that you might need to release or let go of that might be blocking you or holding you back from reaching this truest, highest expression of yourself. and choosing to release that right here, right now. Coming back to whatever it is that you're going to be inviting into your life, your body, your mind, or your heart. Breathing that in with a deep inhale. And full steady exhale to release. <clears throat> As you continue to land here for a moment, taking some time just to invite in a sense of gratitude for where you've been, for what you've accomplished, for how you are, for all the blessings in your life at this moment. And then on your next inhale, bring your hands to touch in prayer position on Jali Mudra. 
as you exhale, bow your head to your heart to seal in this new intention for the coming season and for this practice today. On an in-breath, slide your hands to the ceiling, lengthen the arms. Exhale, open the arms wide, chin to chest, fingers find the ground. And do that twice more, inhale up. Exhale, release. And last time, big inhale to rise. And exhale, release, just warming up our body quickly before we come into our sun salutation practice. Inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, up and over to the left. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Other side, inhale, lift. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release. Coming into gentle rotation of the spine. Big breath in to sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, rotate towards the right. Bring the left arm across the lap, the right hand behind. Look to the side or over the back shoulder. Inhale, lift the arms above the head. Exhale, switch. One more time each side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release. Let's take one final sun breath. Lift the arms all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale to bring the hands behind you. Drop your chin and interlace your fingers. Press the fists down to squeeze the backs, the shoulders together. Open up the heart, the chest, the throat, the face. And exhale, release the gaze, release the hands, roll the shoulders. We'll come to all fours. You can come over your shins or unwind the legs. As you get to tabletop, just bring the hands a little further forward to the shoulders. Take a couple hip circles just to warm up the hips and the legs. Good. And then when the hips come to the back, start to circle them the other way. And when the hips come to the back, we're going to take a seat in child's pose. Let the big toes touch, separate the knees, extend the arms, drop the head. Arms could stay extended, or you could press the hands to prayer. You could bend the elbows and fold the forearms back to the head. A few breaths here. So this is a great place to rest during our sun salutation practice. If you ever want to take a break, you can always come here to child's pose. Extend the arms forward. Let's roll forward through cat to warm up the spine, knees underneath hips. Keep shifting forward so you undulate towards a modified up dog with knees on the ground. And exhale, hips to heels to childs. Just take that a couple times, so roll through cat. And dip the hips, open the heart, the chest. And take the hips back to the heels. This time we'll take it all the way to our bellies so you can roll forward. And come belly down, keep the hands back near the chest, anchor the pubic bone in the hip points, press into the hands, lift the heart to a cobra pose. Exhale, release to your belly. Come up and back to tabletop, all fours. Curl the toes under, walk the hands just a few inches further forward than the shoulders. Spread the fingers wide and lift to your first down dog. From here, pedal out the feet, press through one heel, bend the opposite knee, you could look underneath that um, armpit. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, switch. And inhale, rise. Exhale, both heels drop. Take a bent knee dog to begin and know that this is a really great place to be as well for your downward dog. So at any point when we're in down dog in the sun salutation practice, you could soften the bend in the knees. Good. We're going to take little baby steps forward. That's another great modification. So take as many steps as you need. Shake your head, yes. And shake your head now. Good. Let the head hang heavy. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And then bring your hands to your shins. Lengthen the head away from the tail. Take a deep in-breath. Exhale. Release. Deep fold. Let's do that two more times. So that's our Ardha Uttanasana half forward fold. Inhale to lengthen. This is going to be part of our flow momentarily. And exhale. Release. And just last time, warming up. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, release. From here, bend the knees. Roll your body up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last thing to lift. And then at the top, big sun breath. Lift the arms. Exhale, hands to prayer. 
Close your eyes, bring back whatever your intention is for this new season. How do you want to feel? What do you want to invite in? Breathe that in. And exhale, release the arms. We're going to get going, so come to the top of your mat. We're going to start with a half sun salutation. These are going to count as our set of 27 together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend your knees to swan dive. Inhale, lengthen flat back, hands to shins or fingertips to the mat, Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold. Exhale, deep fold with soft knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, arms open, flat back to stand. And exhale through prayer. You can pause here for a breath. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release your arms. Same thing again, sun breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bent knees, swan dive. You can always bend your knees to modify. Inhale, lengthen flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, stretch. Exhale, deep fold, soft knees. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Deep breath in. Exhale, release the arms. Two more like that. Inhale, lift. This time either straight legs or bent knees. Traditionally legs are straight, but you choose what works for your back and your hamstrings. Inhale, lengthen hands to shins or fingertips to mat. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Pause there, deep breath in. Exhale, release the arms. Last time for this half sun salutation. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen flat back, fingertips to mat or hands to shin. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Eyes closed, deep breath. Exhale, release your arms. We're going to layer on a little bit more. Inhale, sun breath. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen. Ardha Uttanasana. Stretch head away from tail. Exhale, deep fold. Right leg steps back and soften the knee to the earth. Left leg steps back to meet it in a modified plank. Uncurl your toes. Point your elbows back. Modified chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to belly. Inhale, table. And exhale, dog. You're going to take about three to five breaths here. So as we move through these, this down dog is a good place to rest. And if it doesn't feel like a rest, you could always come to child's pose. So there's lots of different ways to do sun salutations. I'm offering you um, one version or one way, but there are different lineages or ways to do this practice. So a few breaths here and certainly inviting in any modifications for your body. We're gonna start with just little steps to the top of the mat, so take as many steps as you'd like, feet towards hands. On an inhale, lengthen, so hands come back to shins or fingertips to the mat. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, legs straight or bent. Exhale, hands through prayer, and you pause for a breath here to recenter, to realign, remember your intention, deep in breath. And exhale, release. Keep going. Sun breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Left leg steps back. Land on your knee. Remember, we're just modifying to start. Right leg meets it. Uncurl your toes. Modified plank. Elbows back. Modified chaturanga. Inhale, lift. Cobra. Exhale, belly. Inhale, table, and exhale, dog. Three breaths, deep inhale, full exhale. Breathing in, and breathing out. Last time, deep breath in, and full breath out. Continuing with small steps to come forward, walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, lengthen flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, deep fold. You could have also taken fingertips to the mat. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. 
and exhale through prayer. Close your eyes, stand up tall, deep breath in. And exhale, release your arms. We're going to take that version twice more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana, stretch it away. Exhale, deep fold. Right leg drops back. Left leg meets it. Modified Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. And exhale, dog. Couple breaths here. Head baby steps to the top of the mat. When you get to the top of the mat, lengthen hands to shins, pull the head away or fingertips to the mat. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Back to your intention. Deep breath. And exhale, release. Last time like that. Sun breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg back. Right leg meets it. Toes uncurl lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. And exhale, dog. About three breaths here. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, deep breath. And let it go. Walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Hold there, deep breath in. And exhale, release. We're just going to kick it up a notch. Inhale, lift. You could stay with that same version. Exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. So hands on shins or just fingertips to the mat. Exhale, deep fold. The right leg steps back to a lunge. Here you could keep your knee lifted. Step the left leg back. Knees are lifted or dropped. Lower through modified chaturanga or full version. Knees stay lifted. Glide forward. Point your elbows back. Chaturanga, come to belly or hover. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Up dog, be in the tops of the feet. Lift your knees. Exhale, downward dog. Deep breath in. And full breath out. So either baby steps forward or right leg steps through, left leg meets it, hip width distance. Inhale, lengthen hands to shins or fingertips to the mat. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Eyes could close. Remember that intention. Breathe it in. How do you want to feel? Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Offer that intention up. Exhale, dive. Release whatever is not serving you. Let it go. Inhale, lengthen. Flat back. Exhale, deep fold. Left leg back. Right leg meets it. Lower chaturanga or modify. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Baby steps or left leg steps through. Right leg meets it. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Deep inhale. Exhale, release the arms. Two more like that. Sun breath. Exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Right leg, left leg, lower chaturanga or modify. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep in breath. Full out breath. Right leg through. Left leg meets it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. 
Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. This is your rest. You pause, you reset, come back to your intention. Deep inhale. And exhale, release. Keep going. Big breath in, lift. Exhale, dive. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, stretch it out. Exhale, deep fold, left leg goes back, right leg meets it, lower chaturanga or drop your knees and modify. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in, full breath out. Little baby steps or left leg steps through. Right leg meets it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse. And exhale through prayer. Close your eyes, deep breath in. And exhale, release. We're just gonna layer on one more thing if you want it. If not, stay with what you were just practicing, inhale. Exhale, swan dive. We're gonna um, add in a jump back if you want. Inhale, lengthen, fingertips or shins. Exhale, walk, step, or hop back to chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Hold here for about three to five breaths. So if you're stepping back, you step to plank and then lower chaturanga or modify. If you're hopping back, hop back to chaturanga to um, protect your shoulders um, instead of hopping back to plank. A couple breaths here. Good. Then you'll look between your hands, either walk, step, or bend your knees and hop forward. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, release. Walk, step, or hop back. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Look forward, walk, step, or hop up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Close the eyes, remember that intention. Why are you doing this? What are you inviting in? Breathe in. Exhale, release. Two more like this. Sun breath. Exhale, let go of whatever is blocking you that you don't need. Inhale, lengthen. Stretch it out. Exhale, walk, step, or hop back. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in. And full breath out. Look between your hands. Walk, step, or bend your knees and hop up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Deep breath in. Exhale, release your arms. One more like that, sun breath. And know that you could pick any of the modifications. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, walk, step, or hop back. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Big breath in. Full breath out. And look through your hands. Walk, step, or hop up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale the prayer, close your eyes. We're halfway there, take a deep breath in. And exhale, release your arms. Another sun breath, so you could stay with that or start to cool down with me. Exhale, swan dive, so you can keep the jump back if you want. I'm gonna come back to a more modified version. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Walk, step, or hop back. Lower chaturanga or modify. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in. Full breath out. 
Look between the hands, walk, step, or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Back to your intention. Deepen breath. And exhale, release. You got three more like that. Sun breath. Exhale, swan dive. You're doing great. Inhale, lengthen. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, deep fold to walk, step, or hop back. Lower Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, Down Dog. Hold for a breath. Deep inhale. And full exhale. And look between the hands. Walk, step, or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Deep breath in. Exhale, release the arms. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Walk, step, or hop back. Lower. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Big breath in. Full breath out. Walk, step, or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Exhale through prayer. Hold there, big breath. And exhale, release. Inhale, breathe in that intention. What do you want? Exhale, let go of what you don't need. Inhale, invite in what you're seeking. Exhale, surrender whatever's holding you back. Walk, step, or hop back. Lower. Inhale up, back to that intention, breathe it in. Exhale, release, hold, deep breath in, full breath out. And look between hands, walk, step, or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse, and exhale through prayer. Holding there, feeling that intention extend through your entire being. Deep breath in. And exhale, release the arms. Inhale, lift. We're going to continue to take it down a notch to cool down. Exhale, swan dive. But if you want to keep the more vigorous variation, feel free. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. You'll walk, step, or hop back. I'm going to drop my knee here. Lower chaturanga or modify or cobra. <laughs> Come into cobra now. Modify chaturanga that was. Exhale, release, and then back to dog. Deep breath in, full breath out. Big step or baby steps to come forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. Again, breathe in. Send that intention up to the universe. Exhale, swan dive. Let go of what you don't need anymore. Inhale, stretch it out. Breathe in that intention. And exhale, let go. Left leg back, walk, step, or hop. Other leg meets it, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. All the way to dog. Big breath in. Full breath out. Walk, step, or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, release the arms. Two more like that, sun breath. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Walk, step, or hop back. Lower. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Walk, step, or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. 
exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Eyes can close, big breath in. Exhale, release, we're winding down. Sun breath, inhale, offer it up. Exhale, let go. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, deepen. Last time like this, left leg steps back, right leg meets it. Lower, modified or full chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Walk, step, hop, or baby steps forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen the stretch. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Exhale, hands through prayer. You're going to hold there. Back to your intention. Deep inhale. And exhale, release. Moving just to our half sun salutation for three rounds. Inhale up. Exhale, dive forward. We're going to stay here. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, deep fold. Stay here. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer to hold. Close the eyes. Back to intention. Deep inhale. Exhale, release the arms. Two more times to wind it down before we come to the mat. Exhale, swan dive. You're doing awesome. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse. Exhale through prayer. Deep in breath. And exhale, release the arms. Our last time together. Big breath in. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Exhale through prayer. Close your eyes. Come back to your intention once more. Hold it in your heart. Hold it in your body. Hold it in your mind. Breathe it in. And exhale, release the arms. We're going to take it to the mat. Sun breath, you did awesome. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, last time, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, deep fold, step the right leg back, drop your knee. Step the left leg back, drop your knee. Uncurl the toes, big toes touch, knees widen, child's pose and hold. Land there, feel the breath, feel your body. Feel the beating of your heart. Feel the vitality and prana and life force that you've cultivated through this practice. Bowing in gratitude to yourself and gratitude to the earth and gratitude to all the blessings in your life right now. Breathing in whatever it is that you're seeking and releasing whatever you don't need. Good, slide your hands back near your shoulders. Press into your hands, roll up to sit on your heels. Take your hips off to the side. Swing the legs around to the front. Scoot your body up to the front. Lift your arms up. We'll do a little stretch on the mat before Shavasana. Exhale, release, roll your body down. Take a big stretch out. And full breath here. Gather your knees into your body, hold your knees or your shins or wrap the arms around the legs and just take a rock side to side. Bring hands to knees and circle your knees one way in one direction to release any tension in the back. Circle the other way. Place your feet to the ground, knees up to the ceiling, open the arms to T, cross the right ankle over the left knee to figure four. If you'd like, pick the left foot up. Hold the back of the left thigh or the front of the left shin. Close your eyes and just breathe. Take a moment to land, to acclimate to being on your back. And start to let your energy settle and your body relax. Take a deep breath in. 
Exhale, release that foot to the ground. Stay in figure four, open the arms to T, cross the legs closer, inner thighs touch. Press into bottom foot, scooch the hips to the right, come on the left hip, bring the knees over to the left and turn your head to the right. Pause there, deep breath in. And full breath out. On your next inhale, bring the knees through center. Press into the bottom foot, scooch the hips back, unwind the legs. Cross the left ankle over the right knee to figure four. Stay here or pick the right foot up, hold the back of the thigh or the front of the shin. Let your eyes close. A couple breaths. And take another deep breath in. Exhale, release your foot to the ground. Stay in figure four. Open the arms to T. Cross the legs closer. Inner thighs touch. Press into bottom foot. Scooch the hips to the left so you're more on the right hip. Turn your head away from the knees and take a few breaths. Good, bring the knees through center. Press into the bottom foot to scooch the hips back and unwind the legs. Extend the legs forward, stretch the arms back, or take any other closing posture, stretch, or movement that your body might want before Shavasana. So just surrendering to your own intuition and inner guidance of how the body wants to move or not move. And then eventually we'll just meet on our backs for a brief Shavasana. Let your palms roll open. Close your eyes. Let your body completely relax. Let your breath soften. Let your mind settle. Feel your forehead soften. Let your eyes fall back beneath your closed eyelids. Let your jaw relax, your chest and collarbones and heart relax. Feel your arms long and relaxed from the shoulders all the way down the arms, the palms of your hands and the backs of the hands, the tips of your fingers and thumbs. Let your belly be soft, effortlessly rising and falling with the breath. Let your hips be heavy. And your legs long and relaxed all the way out to the soles of the feet, the tops of the feet and the tips of your toes. Your upper body relaxed. Your lower body relaxed. Your whole body relaxed at peace, at ease, resting in grace and love and compassion and light. Take a couple moments in stillness and silence to receive this rest and invite in whatever it is that you're seeking today for this coming season. If you'd like to lie here longer in Shavasana, feel free. You can stay as long as you'd like. Otherwise, when you're ready, just begin to deepen your breath. Begin to notice how you feel in your body. 
And maybe invite movement into the outer edges of the body, the fingers or the toes moving or not moving in any way that feels good. Eventually come on to either side to form a fetal position, knees into belly, arms into chest. Just take a moment to rest. And then pressing the ground away, you can come up to seated. We'll just be here for a moment together. So you can come into cross legs or any other comfortable seat. Let the backs of the hands touch the knees or the lap. Let your palms roll open. Sit up tall from the bottom of your tail to the top of your head. Take a deep breath in. And full breath out. On your next inhale, bring the hands together to a prayer position. Anjali Mudra, let your palms meet in front of your heart. And as you exhale, bow your head to yourself. Honoring yourself. Honoring this intention that you set as we step into this new season together. Honoring all it is that you wish to cultivate, to manifest, to create, to behold. Sending gratitude to all the blessings in your life to your strong, able, healthy body, to this practice, to this opportunity to be practicing together in community, and to whatever else there is that you want to send thanks to right now. We'll end together on the sound of OM, the sound of community, starting with a letting go breath. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhale a sigh. We'll begin. Deep breath in. Ah. And as your head bows back to yourself, taking one last moment to honor the divinity and the light that shine within you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Uh, it's such a pleasure to lead you in this practice, and I wish you a beautiful and blessed um, fall equinox and new season. So I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Take care and have a great day.